Now we'll learn a general method to find oblique asymptotes. Now here what we'll say is we'll say let the asymptote be y equals mx plus c for this function f xy equals 0. Now here we'll follow a couple of steps. First step is we'll write this curve as this fn xy fn minus 1 xy f n minus 2 xy up to f1 xy plus constant term say k equals 0. Now this fn xy it contains all the terms whose degree is n. In the same way, this fn minus 1, it contains all the terms with degree n minus 1. Here, all the terms for this function with degree n minus 2. These terms, they will have degree 1 and this is simply our constant terms. And after this, what we'll do is, we'll put x as 1 and y as n. And we'll write fnm. If we put x as 1, it's a function of one variable. So we'll write fnm. In the same way, we can write fn minus 1m, fn minus 2m up to f 1m. So this is our first step. Now this second step is we'll take this function of m with highest degree n and we'll find all real roots of fn m equals 0. So from here we'll get different values of m and these are our slope of asymptotes. For an asymptote, we now have its slope. Next, we need to find its intercept. Now we need to find intercept of the asymptote, but this intercept, it depends whether from the second step, we get a repeated root or a non-repeated root. So in this third step, first we'll consider all those cases where m is a non-repeated root. Now if m is a non-repeated root, then for this m, we'll find corresponding value of c using this equation, which is c into f dash n m plus f n minus 1 m equals 0 where this f dash m it is unequal to 0 since m is not a repeated root. So for all the non-repeated roots the corresponding value of c is given by this equation which is c into derivative of f n plus f n minus 1 equals 0 for that particular value of m and once we have m and c we can write equation of asymptote as y equals mx plus c. Now this second case is if m is a repeated root or in this case it is a double root. Now if m is a double root f and m will be 0 and f dash m will also be 0. In this case we will have two values of c and these two values of c are given by the equation c square upon factorial 2 f double dash n m plus c upon factorial 1 f dash n minus 1 m plus f n minus 2 m equals 0 where second derivative at m for this degree n it is unequal to 0. So for a double root we have 
this quadratic equation in C for which we'll get two values of C and thereby we'll get two asymptotes as y equals mx plus c1 and y equals mx plus c2. Now for triple root, it'll be c cube upon factorial 3, c square upon factorial 2, c upon factorial 1, and then it'll be this third derivative, second derivative, first derivative, and f n minus 3. So this is how we can generalize this equation for any number of repeated roots. Now let us take up an example. Suppose the question is, find all the asymptotes of the curve x cube minus x square y minus x y square plus y cube plus 2x square minus 4y square plus 2xy plus x plus y plus 1 equals 0. Now if we look at first four terms, all of them they are of degree 3. So basically it is f3xy. Now next three terms, they are terms of degree 2. So this is f2xy and this x plus y is degree 1 terms and this is our constant. Now first step is we'll put x as 1 and y as m and we'll write f3m, f2m and f1m. So this f3m it will be 1 minus m minus m square plus m cube f2m will be, now this is 2 minus 4m square plus 2m and here f1m will be simply 1 plus m. So all we need to do is we'll put x as 1 and y as m and then we have to write f3m, f2m and f1m. Now this second step is we'll find slope of the asymptote. And for the slope of asymptote, we'll take this function with highest degree and we'll put it equals to zero. So we'll take this F3M, which is one minus M minus M square plus M cube, and we'll put it equals to zero. Now this is one minus M and we'll take M square common, and then it'll be this one minus M. So this is one minus M into 1 minus m square equals 0. So from here we can say value of m is minus 1, 1 and 1. So basically we have three values of m of which this minus 1 is non-repeated root and this one is a double root or a repeated root. Now for these values of m, we have to find their corresponding values of c to find equation of asymptote which is y equals mx plus c. So for this third step, First, we'll consider the case when m is minus 1, basically which is non-repeated root. Now, for this case, value of c is given by c into f3 dash m plus f2 m equals 0. And in this case, value of m is minus 1. Now, this is c into, now what is f3 dash m? It will be minus 1 minus 2m plus 3m square. So, that's your f3 dash m and it will be minus 1 minus 2m plus 3m square plus f2m and f2m is 2 minus 4m square plus 2m equals 0. Now, if we put m as minus 1, it will be minus 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, there will be 4c and here it is 2 minus 4 minus 2. So, minus 4 equals 0. So, from here we get value of c as 1. And once we have m and c, we can write equation of asymptote. So, for this case, equation of asymptote is given by y equals minus x plus 1 or x plus y equals 1. Now we come to the second case when the value of m is 1 which is a double root. So for this second case value of m is 1 which is a 
double root and for this case we'll have two values of c and which will be given by this equation c square upon factorial 2 f double dash 3m plus c upon factorial 1 f2 dash m and plus f1 m equals 0 where the value of m is 1. Now this is c square upon factorial 2. Now what is f double dash 3? It is minus 2 plus 6m. So it will be minus 2 plus 6m and plus c upon 1. Now f dash 2, f2 is this function. So f dash 2m, it will be minus 8m plus 2 and plus f1m and f1m is 1 plus m equals 0. Now for this we'll put m as 1. Now if we put m as 1, it'll be this c square by 2 and this is 4 plus c and here it is minus 6 and plus 2 equals 0. Now this is 2 and if we divide everything with 2, we'll get this equation as c square minus 3c plus 1 equals 0. So from here we'll get the value of c as minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a which is 3 plus minus under root 5 by 2. So when the value of m is 1, we have two values of c, 3 plus under root 5 by 2 and 3 minus under root 5 by 2. So in this case, we'll have two asymptotes. So one of them is y equals x plus 3 plus under root 5 by 2 and y equals x plus 3 minus under root 5 by 2. So for this curve, we have three asymptotes. One of them is x plus y equals 1. And the one is y equals x plus 3 plus root 5 by 2. And y equals x plus 3 minus under root 5 by 2. So this is how we find all the asymptotes of a curve. So for this curve, we have three asymptotes. x plus y equals 1. y equals x plus 3 plus under root 5 by 2 and this third one is y equals x plus 3 minus under root 5 by 2. Now if we look at graph of this curve in Desmos, this graph it looks like this. So basically it has three branches and if we plot the asymptotes, this is how the graph will look like. We have this asymptote x plus y equals 1. And then we have this asymptote y equals x plus 3 plus root 5 by 2 and this other one which is y equals x plus 3 minus under root 5 by 2. So all these three lines they are asymptotes to this curve. Now if we consider the case of a hyperbola we can write x square upon a square minus y square upon b square minus 1 equals 0 in this we have this term with degree 2. So this is f2xy and this is our constant term. Now this we have our first step. We will put x as 1 and y as m. So we write f2m as 1 upon a square minus m square upon b square. And here f1 m is 0. Now second step is we will find slope of asymptote and for this we will put f2 m is 0. Now if we put it equals to 0 we get 1 upon a square minus m square upon b square equals 0 or value of m is plus minus b upon a and both of them they are non-repeated roots. And then we will find its intercept. Now this is c upon factorial 1 into f2 dash m plus f1 m and it will be equal to 0. Now this f1 m is 0. So from here we can say value of c is 0. So in both the cases 
value of this intercept will be 0. So for this hyperbola, equation of asymptotes is given by y equals mx. So it will be this y equals plus minus b upon ax and plus c which is 0. So this is how we find asymptotes of a hyperbola. Now basically in rational functions, oblique asymptote it will occur if degree of numerator minus degree of denominator it is equal to 1. So this oblique asymptote will occur if degree of numerator minus degree of denominator is 1. So there is a difference of degree 1 between numerator and denominator. So if we have any rational function which is fx upon gx and we know that degree of fx it is suppose n and degree of gx it is n minus 1 so basically we can divide fx with gx using long division or synthetic division so when we divide it we can write this as y equals ax plus b plus some qx upon gx where degree of qx now is less than degree of gx now when degree of qx is less than degree of gx so if we take this limit x tends to plus infinite or minus infinite in this case this limit qx upon gx it will be zero so so this line y equals ax plus b it will be an oblique asymptote for this rational function so we come back to our example our function is y equals x square plus 3x plus 2 upon x minus 2 so we divide we can write x minus 2 and here it is x square plus 3x plus 2 now this is x so it will be x square minus 2x now this is minus plus 5x plus 2 plus 5 so it will be this 5x minus 10 and this is 12 so we can write this as x plus 5 plus 12 upon x minus 2 now if we take this limit x tends to plus infinite or minus infinite this expression will be 0 then it will be this straight line so oblique asymptote for this function y equals x square plus 3x plus 2 upon x minus 2 it will be simply y equals x plus 5 so we have this oblique asymptote so here in this case we do not have any horizontal asymptote but we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 and and we have an oblique asymptote at y equals x plus 5. Now if we look at graph of this function in Desmos then we can see there is no horizontal asymptote as when x tends to minus infinite this graph it approaches minus infinite and as x tends to plus infinite this graph it approaches plus infinite so there is no horizontal asymptote and at x equals 2 we have this vertical asymptote so these two branches on the left hand side this limit is minus infinite and on the right hand side this limit is plus infinite so we have an asymptote at x equals 2 and if we draw this line y equals x plus 5 it will be this straight line so this is y equals x plus 5 which is the oblique asymptote for this curve so this is how we calculate horizontal vertical and oblique asymptotes for a rational function